welcome back it is a grocery day grocery vlog so i am currently on my way to get our groceries for the week so i've got a publix run a walmart pickup and an aldi run publix surprisingly shout out to my dad um they've been having like really good bogos and normally like we don't shop publix because it is expensive but their meats have been saving us like weekly or like every few weeks when I just need like a throw together meal. It's been so nice to have like an extra meat already in the fridge because they've had, or freezer, they've had like their chicken just goes BOGO at least once a week, one or two different brands. So um, that's been nice to have is like the meats. I'm trying to also like plan my meals a little bit around what is um, like on sale at either Walmart or Publix and that's been helpful too and like saving a couple bucks here and there. So figured you guys would come along once again uh, to go grocery shopping today. So I will show you what we find and maybe talk a little bit about what is on the menu for this week and what our week has been like because I feel like it's been a pretty good week and very happy feeling very blessed this week um, it's just been really really good so I feel good today happy to get out I've got a little co-partner here Evelyn say hi and we're just gonna enjoy our morning getting our groceries today it's not snack time yet to go home, doesn't want to go with me because snack, goodness, she runs on snacks, but it's not snack time, right? I'm going to go home right now. Oh, okay. We're not going home right now, honey. Yes, good morning. How you are okay you? with us for the kitchen? Yes, that's yeah. fine. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. That was quick and easy for Walmart. Next, we are going to Aldi. Aldi, let's go. Good snack. These have been like a new weekly staple. Actually, both kids can eat them. And I'm weird, like, I start buying snacks for myself, and then, like, the kids start liking them. I stop liking them, but I've just always been weird about snacks, too, because I get bored of snacks very easily. And then I just won't snack, and I'll eat meals only. So, it's kind of bad, but... Mm. At least she likes them. Alright, we are here at Aldi. We have our list. You ready for your snack? Thing. Here you go. That one's lemon flavor. Do my best to uh, show what we get inside. Ooh, I have to get my quarter, Everly. Where does the quarter go? Can you hold the quarter for me? Hold it safe. Don't drop it. Wow, it's windy. 
Aldi is finished. Got everything I needed, minus sugar. I like their organic raw sugar that they have, but it was all out and that's fine. I can get it next time. It's not like I needed it, but we're running low. I'm all of my baking. Wow, that's right. I baked a lot this week. Like after I got my sourdough bread down, then I made some like sourdough discard scones. I made discard pizza, discard crackers. And I think my, I made discard bagels. I say I think because I can't remember if those were sourdough bagels or sourdough discard bagels, but they were so good. So, Everly and I just shared a little Chomps snack steak. Usually these are like a few cents more at Walmart and they had them this time at Aldi like at checkout. So I decided to get one because they are phenomenal. Let me tell you if you are interested, but it's grass fed and finished beef. 10 grams of protein, 100 calories, zero sugar. Um, it's non-GMO verified. So just a very, very good beef stick. Beautiful, especially if, I don't know how many of you guys loved Slim Jims as a kid, but I remember like I, I haven't learned my lesson. Water. Water, okay, hold on. So I remember as a kid loving Slim Jims and I would like peel the casing off of the Slim Jims and then eat them. But obviously like I'm learning those are not the best for us. So the Chomps beef sticks are way better. You just had a snack. Have some of mommy's water. benefits of my large water bottle since she was like old enough to drink water I can just pour it in a cap and like let her sip from it and now it's cute because I'm oh, teaching God. honor to do the same do you want one more sip yeah. okay she loves water It feels incredible outside. Oh my goodness. I'm glad that like this week the weather has been more stable because the fluctuations up and down have just been sending like, not really so much my allergies, but Brandon's allergies, the kids like end up always, like their allergies turn into more and it just stinks because it's a whole like two week long, excuse you process before they feel better and so they're finally coming to the end of like their two weeks of allergies turned into nasty cough Ooh. I do want to talk about it's a lot in the car sorry but this is where we're at I do want to talk about like one of the biggest blessings that I feel this week was um, I got to go with a friend to like she has like a mom's group thing at a church and in a little bit okay after Publix. Um, Jesus. Jesus music? Yeah. Okay, I can do that. Um, but I got to go to like a swap that they have and so I got to purge like a lot of things and then a lot of moms and women brought a lot of stuff as well to like get rid of and you shop like for free. So such a blessing. Like I brought my stroller and literally was like piling on top just clothes for the kids like plenty for Everly for the next like I don't know year or two even honor for the next I don't know year year and a half and then I got a few things like me this shirt I like this it's very soft but I got a few things for me a couple things for Brandon some toys and like all for free so that just felt like a huge huge blessing um that I don't take for granted because it's like we all have stuff and we all have things that we don't really need to hold on to we need to get rid of so like to see a group of women come together and like share things for free and just be told like take as much as you need 
as much as you want like it was such a huge blessing so I am so grateful I was like telling God all the way home I was like thank you Lord because he provided it's so hard with kids clothes because obviously like they grow fast but then they also become like stagnant in their growth so like they'll be wearing the same size for quite a while so those things get like dingy and run down and holes and things like that so <clears throat> it's nice to kind of have like a refreshing wardrobe so I'm so so grateful for that and best believe I brought stuff to pass on as well and I saw things going that I had brought so it just feels good that you know what they say one person's <clears throat> trash is another person's treasure and for moms clothes and toys always can be you know cycled through and cycled around so that was very very nice and the highlight probably of my my week so far oh my gosh first time getting her a card like this she's so happy here we go okay we have to turn down this one. Oh, just passed what i needed Seatbelt on. Maybe the last car update, but also, like, oh my gosh, God is so good. Like, I will never stop. I'll never stop praising Him. I'll never stop giving Him the credit. Let me just tell you. Also, we've got these, you'll see in our haul, but I really just called it a Pooh Bear snack. So cute. That's the first time buying that brand because they were on sale and they're usually expensive, but it's apples, pears, raspberry black carrot extract for color that's it no junk so if you're interested that's the brand bear but <clears throat> like I went to check out and I got everything that was on my list everything that I grabbed was BOGO those were the only things that were like two for blank so I think it was like two for five or six I don't know whatever but the Lord is so good I went in there with like I had $44 cash and then whatever else I was just gonna put like on our card. And the total was 45, 41. And I was like, oh my gosh, it was a dollar over. But then my coupon kicked in, like weekly I've been getting a $2 off 10 for Publix. And I forgot about the coupon even though I entered it. Like here's my brain, I entered to get the coupon. My total was 44, 40, no, 43, 41. God is so good. I could cry because like I just handed over cash and that was it. So again, he is good. He is faithful. So cutest thing you guys will see the clip of Everly in that cart. That's the first time that um, I've put her in one of those carts through Publix because I just forget when I go in there and she hardly comes like in Publix with me. But it was so cute. She was so giddy the entire time. So what you hear and see, it was like that times 10 pure joy through the whole store. So it was just so precious to see like how excited she was. I can take off my shoes. You can take off your shoes now, yes. The prize for we're going. Right, we are back. I've got three stores, so. Thank you, microwave. <laughs> three stores. I've got eggs and Ziploc. If you know, you know. Just grabbing these for like stock up because dad, if you're watching, I heard you. <laughs> so, um, applesauce, uh, pasta sauce. We have onions. I got a bunch of bananas. The kids both eat bananas. Um, oranges, avocados. There are some lemons, limes back here. This solution has been really nice for me. I really like it. And then I've started using it for the kids too. It has minimal ingredients. Not sure how great they are, but it's good enough for us. Black beans for that enchilada meal. I am going to attempt, last time, or this past week, I made blueberry bagels. Brandon's request is everything so bagels. So uh-huh, and you see what I got? Oh, no, hey, yes. Yes, so. He's gonna get some everything bagels this week. I got these also because dad, so have those to stock up. Cinnamon, um, I've really been wanting some kombucha lately just to help my gut. 
to feel better, heal my stomach, and this has been good. I drink it over the course of like two to three days, so even though there is some added sugar in there, I don't drink a whole one like it says. Um, I spread it out. Brandon cereal, Everly snack, organic baby carrots now that I've been eating because I don't have to peel them and cut them. Excuse me, sir. Um, so this has been nice. Then I got these to shred for the enchiladas. <clears throat> I got these cheese sticks this time because they didn't have the organic ones, but these looked okay, so we'll have them for this week. Favorite chicken sausage for the kids for lunch. It's so easy to heat up in a pan. This is for, I think I'm doing a pasta dinner as well, so just grab this, easy to um, throw as a side. Garlic, I am going to, um, what is it called? Food process all of this, like chop it up and then freeze it. It's perfect for grab and go. Our favorite butter, Brandon's yogurts he loves, cilantro, cheese cubes, spinach, orange juice, and mangoes. So that was all from Aldi. This is what I got at Publix, everything that was like BOGO on sale. So these were the late July uh, chips I was talking about. So I got multi-green for Brandon and the kids. And I got jalapeno lime for me to go with one of our dinners on the side. These Lara bars, which I know I showed before, but they were 75 cents each. And when I did the math like in Publix, a box of six is like $6.98 at Walmart. So six of these was even cheaper. So I just like threw a bunch in, but we've never tried this one. This is banana bread flavor. And then this is a classic one, blueberry muffin that we get, but literally like, gosh, I can't find the ingredients. Oh, okay. So this is cashew, dates, apples, blueberries, vanilla extract. That's it. This one has three ingredients, almonds, dates, and unsweetened bananas like incredible so very very good snack for me for the kids sorry allergies these are the bear fruit rolls that i showed so i got apple pear raspberry and apple pear strawberry then i grabbed these creamers i've been wanting creamers again i go through phases of like no natural no creamers and then i go through now i want creamer so I was okay with how these ingredients looked. So I got hazelnut and vanilla because they were BOGO. This is the chicken, like I was talking about stocking up on chicken. So this is organic and free range, it was BOGO. So I got a hefty one, a $14 one, because then I figured like technically these are seven and seven. That's really cheap. Strawberries were BOGO this week at Publix also for, I think it was like five something for a pack. So that was even cheaper than going to Aldi and getting just one. They look beautiful. So that was all Publix. Last was Walmart, my pickup. This is pineapple juice. It's just pineapple juice, which is great. I've been making these like gelatin, like jello snacks, I guess. And using pineapple juice is delicious. This is for, once again, <laughs> my enchilada meal. I'm going to double the recipe, but this is all-star brand, great ingredients for enchilada sauce. This is a weekly staple, weekly staple, and just restocking for good ingredient and allergen-free chocolate chips. So everything I got this week for our groceries, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in another one. Have a great day, great night, great whatever. Goodbye.